Man, the tag team scene has been on fire of late here in WWE. And I think we're about to see another hot one. Man, these teams have been waiting for this one. And so have I. And their opponents, Kalisto and Steve Gata, the Lucha Dragons. Four of WWE's finest squaring off in what will assuredly be an exciting tag team encounter. There's no denying that this is a tremendous tag team combination. It reminds me of the old APA. And there's the bell. Don't be surprised at all if these guys attempt to one-up each other in this one. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Kalisto. This will be a physical battle. You're right about that, Cole. This is going to be a war. This could be so physical that it gets really ugly before it's over. As we watch Kalisto, let's get your take on him. As you know, we're talking about someone with a lot of talent. I'm not so sure I like the idea of it being showcased in a tag team. you got to let talent like that shine on its own. Submission leg lock. Oh, that's hurting my legs just watching it. Oh, you have to be on your toes when you're in the ring with Kalisto. Like most of his moves, the Salido del Sol can come out of nowhere. What's it going for? Hey, look at this. It's the abdominal stretch. He's got it locked in. Yep, there's the reversal by Kalisto. Oh, out of nowhere. Well, this is what we call in the business getting stretched. Oh. Look at that move. This match is not far from being over. You're right about that. And the body is not supposed to be stretched like that. That's got to hurt. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Back to the Salida del Sol. I'd say part of the reason why it's so effective is because it's so dizzy. Kalisto's opponents barely know where they are. And before you know it, boom! They're hit with a Salido de Sol. Yeah, and I can hardly pronounce it. But you know, in addition to being dizzy, it has to do a number on the back of your head and your neck. There's the switch. He catches him with the X handle.
There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately only one of them can be victorious here tonight. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. He makes the tag! It's no wonder Sin Cara is as graceful in the ring as he is. He's been competing ever since he was 15 years old. And since that time, he's battled all over the globe, becoming one of the most well-known international luchadors of all time. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. A kick to the gut. That'll double you over. Textbook offense here. Asin Cara showing some adversity right now. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. What a maneuver. Man, that was awesome. Awesome. Sin Cara has been a global icon for years, but it really wasn't until the night after WrestleMania 27 that WWE fans got a good glimpse at the international sensation. Since that time, Sin Cara has proved his worth. The shoulders are down! This match will have a lot of big moves. One question will be, who will capitalize on those moves the best? And who will capitalize on those moves the earliest? That's important. Sin Cara turns the tide. <laughs> it is absolutely dizzying how fast Sin Cara is. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Looking for the win. The Samoan drop, the end is near. You're right about that, Cole, this is over. Sin Cara into the cover. Sin Cara is Mexico's most popular luchador for a reason. There's almost nothing he can't do inside that ring. From a tilt-a-whirl head scissors to a springboard moonsault. He gets the tag. Thanks for coming. And he's in there trying to get something going for his partner. There's the finishing. We got a cover. So damaging. Okay, just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. That type of speed is so hard to contain. King, you brought up a few of Sin Cara's most awe-inspiring moves earlier, but let's not forget that he also possesses an arsenal of high-impact maneuvers as well, particularly his repertoire of lethal kicks. Yeah, you're right, and of course, his Tornado DDT packs quite a punch. And if acrobatics is your thing, look out for Sin Cara's handspring back elbow. And that's a thing of beauty. Oh, out of nowhere! He might have to do this by himself. His partner doesn't have much left. This might be it. We've got everybody going at it now. Simon Gotch turns it around. He's in big trouble. And now, Simon Gotch pushing forward. Since his NXT debut in July of 2014, Simon Gotch has become a major thorn in the side of his opponents. At times, Gotch's style can be considered... Uh-oh, submission leg lock. Oh, that's hurting my legs just watching it. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. No love loss between these two. He is just getting busted up. Sin Cara gets tagged in. Oh, 
Unleashing it for the second time now. Clearly on a mission here. He's looking to fly. I hope this turns out well. When you hear the name Simon Gotch, you think of a bruiser and a hooker who can grind your face into the mat. People also think the shoulders are down. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time when you attend the WWE event live, just like we are here tonight. This is wonderful. And Sin Cara is finally beginning to soar. And into the cover. Anyone who knows the history of our business knows the prestige of the name Gotch. It should be no surprise that Simon, in gentlemanly fashion, created a brutal finishing move called the Gentleman's Clutch. Thank you for choosing to spend your Wednesday night with us. We appreciate you choosing WWE. These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars that WWE have to offer. Not today, too fast. Oof, man! King, what can we expect from Simon Gotch here tonight? Well, Michael, he's trained by Harley Race, and he's a real throwback. So I suspect we'll see some classic moves from decades ago. Oh my, Simon Gotch. Covers. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Not only is Simon Gotch a throwback to days of old, but he also fancies himself as a gentleman. In fact, he likes to be called the Gentleman Bruiser. Wow. Oh, this may very well end it. And he finally gets out of the ring. Incredible move by Simon Gotch. Hopefully this WWE action is helping you get through those midweek blues. Hey, the shoulders are down. Two, three, three. He did it. He won the match. You want to talk about incredible high impact sports entertainment? Check out what happened during this match. Let's take a look at some of the... We people. may be looking at the match of the... I year. can't believe what we saw in that match. Here are your winners, Simon Gotch and Aiden English. The Bond Villains. I love a good tag team match, and this one was unforgettable. I mean, these teams gave us everything they had, and the WWE Universe is the true winner in this one. And don't forget you and I, we have the best seats in the house. Anytime you can pick up a win inside a WWE ring, you have something to be extremely proud of. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.